realizing this lighting in my face looks really pale, like I look like a ghost. But yeah, I didn't really expect going to this episode that I was probably going to get a sequel to um, Primer, but I got a sequel to Primer. I was like, my brain was the most fried in this episode. Like, I was trying to keep up with most things that was going on because I was kind of thinking to myself, if there was more than one Jaguar, this Miss Jaguar, how you'd say it, that's really cool me saying that. Um, it's going to create a paradox like, in the sense that he might, doesn't it kind of like? In normal timeline terms, if a paradox happens, the paradox normally creates something bit weird in the timeline, which might result in the future changing. In this case, it doesn't, which is confusing. It sort of just carries on, like it just carries. It doesn't really carry on as normal because I think a lot of the, I think a lot of the Jaguars are actually from the future. Like there's past, present, future Jaguar. We get the past one being the one where he's from. He's, I think the future ones when he's in the IQ. Or was it when the past one's in the IQ, which one he kind of devolves from it and makes the Bureau? Or was it when he comes, he's a time police guy? So, well, one of the timelines, he he basically devolves defects on someone and basically makes a superhero Bureau. I swear it's from the time police. Because I ran correctly his... Yeah, because it must have been, because... Then the present ja Jaguar, the one we've got, is normal Jaguar, who's actually from the future, because then the one that is actually in the time police one, who's super Jaguar, if I'm correct is actually from the future. So, because he thinks, oh Christ, I just killed my future self, so I'm going to disappear, so I'm going to be at ease. And I thought, oh Christ, he's going to die. But no, he doesn't. It's basically, he thinks that's his future self, but it isn't. It's his past self, or past-ish self. Yeah, there's a lot to take in, in this episode. Like, my brain is kind of like, doing this with the, it's actually a freaking timeline, like, of the different events that happened in this episode. So I haven't read it, and I read into it. Pardon the pun. But, yeah, I read into it, and it kind of just said, like, with the different kind of things that happens in this episode when it came to, when it came to the things. If I'm credit, IQ Jaguar gets killed by the police, I, the police, time police Jaguar, which then results in a paradox, which continues. Then, in the end, um, if I'm credit, time police, time police one, then comes into the future for one week, and then gets captured by Kiko, which then Kiko... And lets him go, and then after that point, I can't remember what happened. So he goes back to the future, which then he meets the one who says that he is here superhuman now. So then that's kind of the end of the episode. So it was kind of a bit of a confusing episode. <laughs> we only got two weeks left. Oh, three weeks, actually, because it's for 13 episodes. And apparently there's actually a second core, so which makes me undoubtedly happy because I like this anime a lot. But this anime is so freaking confusing. My brain is, like, not prepared I'm never mentally prepared for this anime. Like, this and Valkyrie Dive Mermaid, someone have become mentally prepared for. I just can't sit down and say, you know what, I'm going to watch this anime today, because I just can't. My brain won't composite the ideas I need to sit down and watch this anime and say, oh, well, I get that. No, because I just can't. My my brain doesn't comprehend such complicated, complicated ideas. I had to analyse David Lynch's work for my film studies project, and that was freaking hard enough. My brain was fried off at that point, and having to do time travel in an anime, when I can I can do Steins Gate, so there's only three timelines. It's only, it's only the Steins Gate timeline, the normal timeline, the beta timeline. That one's easy to understand. This one, there's about 15. Uh, there's there's too many sometimes. There's there's the three in this one. There's the two. There's the two that we're getting at the moment, which that's five. Then there's a past one, which is before, and there's the yeah. There's those six in total on um, on Concrete Revolution that we've seen thus far. I'm not too sure. There's actually a fifth. There's actually a seventh timeline in the sense. There's actually another timeline after this point that we're not seeing yet, which is kind of making me complicate complicate even more. Let me be wrong. There is definitely three timelines or four. We can't five of account in every single one of them and the six if we can't present so there's a lot of timelines to actually comprehend but anyhow i like jaguar's character but i'm trying to figure out was he evil or wasn't he evil like because in the, he was trying to change history in the sense he was trying to like take out i'm guessing superhumans because he was from the war criminals and then because he was like oh no and there's a whole scene in the superhuman bureau he's kind of like you know who I am, and it's just like, and then it's fighting Jiro, and it's not Jiro, but then is it Jiro? But it doesn't really explain it, so it just says to that scene. So yeah, I mean, god damn. I was like, my brain, I have, I, my hair's gone funny now. I just, I need, I need time. I need to, I need to sit down and just write my thoughts down on this anime. It's one of those things I have to sit with a script going, yeah, I can understand that now. 
And so I'll just like have to dot down every single plot point that actually comes out. And we're actually going to announce new characters in next week's episode, so which is going to piss me off because this anime is ending. And we're going to get the most unsatisfying ending possible because this anime is freaking confusing as it is. It's going to go, yeah, you know what? The future is going to be ne until like next year. And then we're going to be like, <sighs> I can see that happening. It's going to end that way. But it's going to say second core, 2016, and it's going to end in the sense that we're just going to get to the future. And then the second half of the series is the future. Like, I can see that happening. It's it's going to be that way. If I'm wrong, I will be surprised. I just, just seeing it. It's going to have like a madhouse ending. But I mean, in everything, I actually really like the anime. It's just, it's so great. But it's so freaking confusing. I just don't know. I've seen... Is this almost like... This, this paradox is almost as confusing as, I don't know, Predestination's paradox. If you've seen the film, you probably know what I'm talking about. Predestination's paradox is he's having sex with himself, so it's kind of just reoccurring paradox. Like... It does circles and circles and circles and circles. It never ends. The paradox never ends. So theoretically, when you think about it, isn't this one a paradox that never ends? Because it's, it's an unsolvable paradox. As Kyo says at the end, he goes, she goes, yo, you're an unsolvable, uns, unsolvable, if I can say the word, paradox. And it's kind of like, oh yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of, yeah, that's understandable. But yeah, I mean, I have been blabbing around a bit too long with this episode, but my brain is so fried, I just need, I just need to, I need to lay down my thoughts. Animation was pretty good. Soundtrack was pretty good. Characters are awesome. I like them a lot. I like there's a freaking Gundam horse. That makes me that makes me happy. But yeah, I mean, with all that said, I have been the driver. If you do want to support me, do leave a subscribe. Do leave a like. It does help me quite a bit. But anyway, with all that said, I'm gonna have a lie down for about five hours. I will see you guys later. Bye for now.